To introduce exponential decay, let's talk about the function f of x equals 1 half to the x, which is really more often written as 2 to the negative x, right? Because negative is going to make it 1 over, and we'd get exactly this, 1 half to the x. So these are the same thing. Uh, let's look at, let's just plot a few points and see what this looks like. Again, this is, we don't want to always plot points um, to be able to graph these things. So I'll show you in general what it looks like so you don't have to plot points each time. Um, let's see. Let's do this. One half to the x. Okay. Okay, so let's do negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And just get an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so one half to the negative three. Let's see, one half to the negative three. Well, that negative is going to flip it, so this will actually be flipped up. So two over one to the three. Well, two over one is just two. Two to the three is eight. So at negative three, we're at eight. Negative two. All right. So we have one half to the negative two. All right, that just flips it two over one to the negative two, uh, to the positive two. Okay, two squared is four. Four. All right, negative one. So we have one half to the negative one. Well, that flips it up. That just gives us two. Two. Anything to the zero is one. Anything to the one is itself. Okay, one half squared is one fourth, one half cubed is one eighth. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. When x equals negative three, our y value is eight, which is way up off this page. Right, we're, we're at about, let's see, six, seven, eight, so maybe somewhere up around here. Okay, by the time we're over to negative two, we're down to four. Okay, at negative one, we're at two. At one, we're at, at zero, we're at one. Okay, so that's gonna be our, one of our main anchor points, zero, one, just like with exponential growth. Okay, at one, we're at one half. At two, we're at one fourth. And at three, we're at one eighth, so we're way down here. And you can get an idea of what's happening here. This is a function coming down. It looks a lot like the growth function except for it's reflected about the y-axis, which is exactly what it is. Okay, so there is exponential decay. Um, you, you see exponential decay a lot with, for instance, radioactivity, right? Radioactive decay, something, some radioactive substance decays at a certain rate. In general, when you have 1 over b to the x, which is the same thing as b to the negative x, Right, the graph of it looks like this. It goes through the point uh, 0, 1, and then it goes through another point, negative 1, b. So there we go, negative 1, b. And it comes down like so, comes down and then gradually levels off, approaching the x-axis, but never touching it. Right, so here's our exponential decay, and the bigger b is, the steeper this is going to come down. Just like the bigger b was in exponential growth, the steeper it went up. Right, So that way you can graph any exponential decay function um, without, without plotting a bunch of points.